Hello, this is uh, Lock Gaming for his first video. Yay! Um, today I'm going to be showing uh, you how to pick a lock. Sorry if you hear any background sounds. My brother is playing CS:GO on his computer in another room. So yeah, let's begin. Um, in front of you, you can see my lock case. Thing of a bob. It, it's a case for uh, or it's a little. Kind of like hand, uh, I don't know how to describe it, I can't talk today, I'm very tired. Um, this is a case for my lock picks, and yeah, um, this is my favorite one. I'm going to try to show you up against the back of my hand. I'm going to focus, focus, camera. Okay, okay, and it's kind of like waves, um, it will push each pin up. And if you don't know what the inside of a lock looks uh, like, I'd suggest go looking it up. It would be easier for you. And today I'm going to be showing you how to pick a lock with a paperclip. Actually, two paperclips. Uh, you could split it in half if you have wire cutters, but I did not, so I just used two separate ones. Um, yeah. So what you just saw was the pick, which pushed up each pushes up each individual pin. And this is what I'm going to be using as that. It is the paperclip. Wait, okay, is the paperclip bent into a L shape? That's just kind of a handle. And then the end of it is just going to be basically um, kind of like a 45 degree angle, maybe a 90. Um, the Higher it is, the or the higher it is, oh the better. Sorry, um, this webcam is really low. Um, so yeah, the way to bend this is take a um, like a corner of a wall or something like that, and take something uh hard. What I did was I took like um this up against my counter, put it on the edge, and I bent it to shape with this lock. Um. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do that because the lock is going to be stationary. And yeah, so you can figure that out for yourself. And the next part is going to be the tension wrench. This is to keep tension so all the pins do not reset. This, you're not going to generally... I, I actually doubt anyone really... Think, I doubt anyone ha actually has one of these on hand. Um, so, what I did was... I made this. This looks really confusing, uh, but it's actually just kind of mashed up. But all you really need is the end. It is a kind of bent part. Um, I will try to show you with the end of this uh, how to make it. So you bend it out straight. Oh, I wish I had a better background for this. Oh, focus. Right, um, so you bend it out, uh, out straight, the paper clip. And you just bend it into a U, a kind of shape. This camera will not focus. I'm sorry about that. Um, and you just keep bending. And you keep going until you have that kind of loop shape. And that is the keyhole. I kind of just put it inside of there and bend it up towards the other one. Up. And now you got a tension wrench that you can just keep your tension on. So yeah. Um, like other videos like Howcast or uh, BuzzFeed Blue, I think it is, uh, they did how to pick locks. BuzzFeed did a lot better. Howcast, they did decent, um, but it didn't it just assumed that you had a tension wrench on you, which was really funny. So this video is kind of how to make that. And also, kind of how to pick it. I'm not going to explain how it works if you don't know how picking a lock works. So yeah, um, if you want to get professional lock picks, go, uh, go to sparrowslockpicks.com uh, or just look it up in Google and you can order them. They are amazing. Uh, I got these like two years ago, and they're still perfectly fine, although I do not pick locks that often anymore. So I'm going to first show you what it looks like. And also it's going to be kind of how 
to do it. Oh, it's still going. Sorry, my computer uh, went into sleep mode. Okay, so you're going to have your tension wrenching. And you're going to push down pressure. Um, depending on the length from uh, of the um, tension wrench, like how far this part is out away, um, as in more leverage, the more leverage you have, the less uh, you need to push down. For this, since this is real, uh, doesn't have that much leverage, I'm gonna have to push down uh, fairly hard. Y uh, you can experiment with this on your own time, and yeah. So this isn't really picking. This is more raking, which means you just kind of slide the pick into the keyhole, pull it out, and keep doing that. So I'm gonna try to do that now. Sorry about this camera not focusing. So this YouTube channel is called Lock Gaming. It's going to be half utility, half gaming. Right now it's just going to be utility. Um, if you want to see some good gaming with uh, sometimes me in it, or um, just anything gaming, Go to my friend Nick's channel. Um, I will leave a link to uh, to his channel in the description. He doesn't play too many games as I feel like he should. Although he does a lot of stuff like ranting about video games. Stuff like that. This is taking way longer than it should. I am very sorry for that. There we go. Okay, so you heard a click and it kind of loosened up. So now you can push it. Oh, a uh, car is coming into my... Oh, that's my family. Okay, so... God dang it. Okay, so I took out the lock while holding this, and I just pushed it the rest of the way, and there we are. It's done. And yeah, if you want to see some other games, also a good friend of mine, Vincent, I can't pronounce that other word, uh, I'll put his link, or a link to his channel in the description below, and he does some cool, um, short gaming clips, um, oh, excuse me, I was yawning. I'm very tired, um, although it's only 7 o'clock, I'm surprised. Um, so yeah, uh, that was basically how to create them. You can, uh, I will do more live picking videos in the future, oh and yeah, I'm sorry about that background noise. Um, so yeah, that was how to basically create the two, uh, tools and also slightly how to use it. So you put the tension wrench in, the bottom, far, uh, bottom mode, bottommost part of the keyhole, keep tension, slide this in through the top, keep doing that until you get it right, and yeah, I got to go now, so, thanks, have a good day, like, subscribe for some more stuff, and check out those uh, channels that I mentioned before, have a good day, night, or wherever uh, you are, and yeah, goodbye interwebs.